Hi Pisces, this is your May monthly tarot reading. We'll have three separate spreads in this monthly reading. The first spread is going to be on love. It could be new love, uh, love from the past, existing love, whatever comes up. The second spread is going to be some good news for you, Pisces, for for this month. And uh, in the third spread, we'll be looking at an advice for you, Pisces, for the month of May. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is on love, Pisces. We have the Moon, clarified by the Eight of Swords. Then we have uh, the Fool, clarified by the Ace of Cups. We also have the Wheel of Fortune. In the potential outcome, uh, we have the Queen of Cups with the Star and uh, the Ace of Pentacles. And we also have the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aries, Aquarius, maybe a Sagittarius, or absolutely any Zodiac sign. Well, this spread is talking about some kind of an ending and freedom. Freedom with this new person. Okay? I, I know it sounds a little strange, but let me explain. This this reading is a little bit strange, right? We start with the moon, which is your major arcana card. So your major arcana card showed up right away. That means things are going to be looking up to you. You're in charge. You know, things could be turning around for you. All right, we, and uh, the first card in the potential outcome is the Queen of Cups, which is also your card. So you're in the beginning of one spread, and you're in the in the <laughs> in the beginning of the potential outcome. However, however, the moon is clarified by the eight of swords, and uh, on the bottom of the deck we have the ten of swords. All right, so. I can interpret this a couple of different ways, a couple of different scenarios, right? The Eight of Swords, it could be a card of somebody who's stuck and trapped and overthinking, right? Perhaps you've got a lot going on inside your head, right? It could be in, in regards to this particular individual, or maybe it could be in regards to something else that's uh, going on in your life. You're, you're just overthinking, you're constantly stressed out about something. This person is going to come into your life and uh, whatever you're worried about is going to become a thing of the past. Perhaps the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck is the end of that Eight of Swords, right? The Ten of Swords is a card of an ending, and what could be coming to an end is that Eight of Swords. This is you sitting in your own mental prison. Okay, for others of you, you could be stuck in a situation, right? Well, everything is a situation. Perhaps you're stuck in a living situation, you could be stuck in a very negative, bad, toxic relationship, right? Which is on its last leg, but you're just you were just not able to move on and, or leave, right? And this person comes into your life and they will show you a way out, if that makes sense. So the Ten of Swords in this case is you being stuck, like literally stuck in some kind of a situation. That's what's coming to an end because this person will uh, show you the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, <laughs> right. Um, so the Fool, the next card I came out after after the Moon card. It could be an Aries. You know, the Fool is one of uh, Aries major card card, but the Fool is a card of liberation. Liberation. Again, whatever that Eight of Swords is. This person coming into your life, they will show you a way out. They will show you freedom. They they will feel like a breath of fresh air, right? All of this is obviously done through love, because the Ace of Cups, I find the Fool, is the most loving Ace out of all four Aces. It's one of the two Aces, by the way, right? The Ace of Cups is genuine, true, authentic love. The Will of Fortune in the middle is a very fortunate turn around. Again, we're going back to whatever that Eight of Swords means to you. It's this person brings the opposite of that, right? A very fortunate turnaround for you. It's a it's a start of a new cycle. The Wheel of Fortune could be a card of trouble for some of you, or something like that. In the potential outcome, we have the we have you, uh, the Queen of Cups, <clears throat> the uh, the Star, and the Ace of Pentacles. The Star could be an Aquarius, you know, but the Star is a card of a wish come true, right? Especially if you've been wishing to get out of that situation, to get out of your own head. It's a wish come true. This person is a wish come true for you. The Ace of Pentacles right next to the deck is a golden opportunity. So this person entering your life is a golden opportunity for you. All right, Pisces, let me know what uh, what's that Eight of Swords and the Ten of Swords are all about. For some of you, uh, maybe another scenario is you recently broke up with somebody, recently got out of uh, marriage, and uh, you're still kind of like, um, it's something new for you, right? And uh, this 
person comes into your life and uh, they will show you that there is love beyond uh, beyond the horizon, <laughs> so to speak. But this looks good. Really happy for you, Pisces. Congratulations. Here's some good news for you, Pisces, for the month of May. We have uh, the uh, Queen of Swords, clarified by the Ace of Wands. We have the Knight of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and the Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You're definitely dealing with an air sign, <laughs> Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Yeah, you're dealing with this Queen of Swords, and it's supposed to be good news, right? I was just thinking perhaps this person is a Gemini, right? Yeah, uh, Gemini birthday season is still a month away. But perhaps you can plan something already now, right? Maybe you're planning ahead, and that's good news for you. So the Queen of Swords is definitely an air sign. Uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, they're clarified by the Ace of Wands. It's a very passionate ace, and uh, the Queen of Swords could be getting passionate about you. They could be getting passionate about this new beginning, work, business, finances, the strip that's coming up or something like that. The Knight of Swords, the next card over, is the fastest knight out of all four knights. So there's definitely trip, travel, somebody is going on a trip. Maybe already now or again you could be planning it for the future. The Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck, it could be also air sign indicator, right? The Page of Swords could be a message coming from this Queen of Swords or it could be you exchanging messages back and forth. Right, and uh, the Page of Swords could also be a card of um, spying <laughs> for some of you, or it could be a card of some sort of a research, right? Gaining information, right? Perhaps you're looking at vacation destinations, or they are, or something like that, or they're looking for a plane ticket. All right, and the Nine of Cups right next to the deck is a card of a wish come true, but it's also a card of an event, right? And some tarot decks and the Nine of Cups, people are standing around and celebrating. In some other tarot decks and the Nine of Cups, people are sitting around the table and enjoying a meal and also celebrating. So, this is good news. It has something to do with this um, air sign, travel, passion, satisfaction, wish come true. <laughs> Alright, cool. Here's the advice for you, Pisces. Uh, for the month of May, we have the Five of Cups, clarified by the Fool. We have Strength, the Nine of Cups, and Death on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, uh, Scorpio. I think this spread has to do with the first spread. This advice right here is in regards to the first spread. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, and uh, from the advice perspective, don't be afraid to move forward. Don't be afraid to be happy. You deserve to be happy. Don't be afraid to change a few things. That's how it feels. Maybe you're not sure if the, you can trust this person. I think you can. All right, we have four major arcana cards on the table. Well, we start with the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups has always to do with the past. It's a card of grief, regret. Maybe you're thinking of this person. Maybe they remind you of someone from the past. Or maybe you're thinking that it will all go down the drain again with this person. Or maybe your past is still holding you back. You're paranoid. You're a little scared for the obvious reasons, of course. But uh, the full clarifying the Five of Cups, yeah, it's a card of liberation. It's a card of freedom. It's a card of a, a, a breath of fresh air. Strength could be a card of courage for you to, to move forward, to get out of that uh, Eight of Swords, as we saw in the first spread. Death is a card of a transformation, right? Your life is about to change in a big, major way, right? Um, death is also a card of an ending, just like the Ten of Swords in the first spread. And the Nine of Cups, right next to the deck, is a card of happiness. It's a card of a wish come true. It's a card of a satisfaction and fulfillment. So that's what's that's what's at the end of the rainbow. <laughs> that's what's coming your way. Alright, I hope this makes sense. Don't be afraid to be happy, I guess. Don't let the past hold you back. Okay? Past is in the past. You got future ahead of you, Pisces. I hope this makes sense. So, yeah, that's what I have for you for this reading for this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also um, subscribe and comment. And uh, other than that, Pisces, have a fantastic May.